the relationship of the Almighty Supreme and the Supreme Being. Okay, the Supreme Being is you, a sentient spirit that has eternal life beyond your human experience, okay, temporally, and a personality beyond temporal experience, which is one with God, eternal existential reality experience. And so the eternal son and the creator son have established administration in the universe that the angels and the infinite mind spirit recognizes as the wisest course to help all creatures with the potential to have eternal life. So all sentient beings such as human individuals. Let's consider human individuals the prime representative of the supreme being and of a sentient being. Okay, this is important when you're defining civil rights in the universe. But the Almighty Supreme, through all agencies of, let's say, the third source, through agencies of the mind, existentially, impinging upon the temporal fabric of reality, okay, when it enters into actuational temporal pathways, this force of the Almighty conspires in and upon the Supreme Being. Okay? The Supreme Being is gathering aspects and facets of the universe, relationships and obligations towards things, okay, duty to work, and the Supreme Being, okay, don't try to objectify that too much, okay, or be too proud in what I'm trying to tell you is that the power of the Almighty Supreme is received into the actual mind, okay, the personality in the mind, spatially, temporally, eternally. The Supreme Being has the obligation that the first source would have in the universe, but also with the power to choose from a field of options, an array of actions that are potential to act by. So a lot of the existential relationship from all existing agencies that can constitute an individual awareness of the communion of angels in heaven, okay, it does not act upon the Supreme Being, but it draws, it, since it impinges, okay, upon the arena in which the Supreme Being is, is at that moment forced to act within. That's his place in the universe. It, all of the energy and the mind realities that are relevant to that individual sentient being at that time, depending on what he's seeking and finding through his mind, all existing sentient beings trying to assist the decision or action potential of the supreme being in any moment of time in the universe impinges upon the perception but does not control the action of the supreme being they take that into account it's a very basis okay it's the boundary between where temporal actualities are receiving from 
existential, eternal realities. Okay? That relationship is going to teach you the revelation of the moral imperative. Okay? It's going to help you realize, okay, that the Holy Trinity has that third part where humans are laying the cornerstone of God's kingdom. And so, take this into consideration, let it in, okay, the power of the psyche and the choice to draw in considerations towards unto the circumstance of the Supreme Being because you have to be perfect in order for your choice to be true. So it requires maturation. And there's this relationship that you have from the Almighty Supreme. Your parents are trying to help you grow into it ultimately because your parents are born just like you they seek the post ultimate potentiation of all wise courses of action all actionable potential that would lead the sentient being to the fullness of life and the abundance of uh, union with God and life in the Holy Spirit so that means eventually your completed life experiences starting from the seventh universe and proceeding to an endless career uh, within the eternal realm means that you prove to God that you're worthy to assist other minds in the same way that every angel and spiritual being that has done God's will continues to do God's will and has assisted in pinging upon your mind the perception, the arena upon which your field of action is seen. Okay? And you're the only person, essentially, who is limiting um, your interactiveness and the host, the potential from which the minds and actors of the Almighty can conspire. And they present these elements in and upon, okay? So who's going to receive that? The Supreme Being, okay? And that in order to have these realities gifted to this individual mind in order to have proceeded through the will, through the course of circumstances in time, and through the very things that you're trying to work on each day. It's the actuation of the potential for the Supreme Being as an individual, sentient being in the universe, to eventually be able to be part of the existential forces of the Almighty that are able to enter into the Supreme Being's mind. But that would imply, not you, but somebody in the future who's not even born, okay? That's the, that's the important part about it.